Right everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all well. Uh, before we get into this video, if you could just subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, like the video if you do enjoy this. Uh, we are currently just about to do our HelloFresh meal. Uh, we've got, what we're having again? Chicken. Um, the one, that, this one we meant to do yesterday, it's not a new one, just to see you know. Speedy barbecue chicken, that takes 40 minutes. So it's not very speedy, but we're going to get on with it. We're going to do it, it is quite late, so we've got to cook the wedges, fry the chicken, get ready to roast, make the sauce, stir fry the beans, finish and serve. Voila, it is that easy. To be fair, it will just be a lot of um, waiting for things to cook really, won't it? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'll take these along on the cooking journey. Oh, there's an onion. They give you a lot, I've just thought there, right? Haven't we? Yeah. We've already got like a cut up onion. Yeah. They give you a lot like of onion, onion and stuff like that, but I suppose you need them. Um, so yeah, we've got the chicken. Do all that, or so cut the wedges. Cut the, do you cut the green beans? You'll trim them, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, hope you're all well. Uh, we're going to get on with this now. We'll obviously show you bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, I will catch us in a sec. Right, everyone. Massive. Change of plan. The chicken's off. What's wrong? Put your bag on here. You marked it. Sorry. <laughs> no, but anyways, um, yeah, the chicken was off. Like literally, put the camera. Like didn't put you down, but like stopped it. Stepped back into the vicinity of the chicken. Massive whiff. Was like, oh. Katie said, do you think that smells? Had a little smell. Went to VAR, did smell. So, the last HelloFresh meal was a failure. It's our own fault, really, yeah, isn't it? Because we were meant to have it yesterday. It was within days. Yeah, it's nothing to, have to do with HelloFresh. It's just we, we've left it obviously a day longer than we could have. So, yeah, that was a bit of a failure. Uh, so, we are having the classic fish burgers and chips. Fish burgers and chips. For some reason, that sounds like three separate things, but yeah, doesn't it? Fish burgers and chips. Yeah. But yeah, we can sit up below us. But yeah, so we're gonna have that instead now. So that will give me more of a reason to go through the covenant. I will do that after tea, um, or some of them at least. Um, but yeah, bit good about that. To be fair, that was actually. I am good because it is like obviously still like a bit of a waste. Oh, it is. It's still. A it waste. is a waste. It's a waste. It's a waste. It's but a waste. it is a waste. Went of all, it is a waste. But ah, oh, you live and you learn, I guess, guys. But yeah, that is the end of the. It is the end of the Hello Fresh meals. Aren't we? We're not going to get charged tomorrow. No. It's cancelled. Yeah. Cool. So that yeah. Two weeks. Oh wait. Um, I went on and skipped them both. And then obviously we'll go on and check the following week, see yeah, if there's any recipes we'll we like. Yeah, we'll discount code. Excuse me, but yeah, yeah so we are just going to see. Um, but that, at the minute, is the end of our HelloFresh experience. If any of you guys have had HelloFresh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought. I enjoyed it. I, I do just think, like, if you are busy or, like, you have a day like we had yesterday and you've... Like, it is hard some days just to be like, oh, well, we, you just don't have time, basically, to prep everything. So I do think it is very much dependent on how busy you are. I think, I actually think they're, like, perfect for, like, they would be perfect for, like, quite a lot of people. But, like I say, if, you, if you're someone that like, is, like, busy and you just need something where you bang it in the oven or, or something like that, it probably is isn't as convenient but like i say you do i think the brilliant thing is you do have the option of there is like that said speedy chicken I, I think that is just in terms of it's not many calories or something so it doesn't take it took longer than it being classed speedy it did take quite long but you do have the option where it is like 15 minutes prep or something like that on HelloFresh, which is ideal for people that are busy but yeah, I did enjoy them. I, there was never one sort of portion where I was like, oh, I feel like that wasn't enough. Or I think if anything, it was more just like left as wanting more because I did enjoy the dish. So I am, I would recommend HelloFresh still. I, 
only if you can get discounts though I don't think I would recommend it full price depending on people's incomes and stuff like that but yeah we didn't manage to get a hold of site today they were literally just leaving as I was getting back from work um, so I didn't manage to get a hold of them to get rid of that massive wooden thing wooden fancy thing in the garage um, so that will be a job to do on Thursday but apart from that pretty good pretty good and I will just pick you back up now guys when tea is all ready right and everyone not quite hello fresh fish burgers and salt and peppered fries but yeah still excited for it to be fair it's a nice Monday night meal isn't it so yeah took into this go through some covenants and I'll catch us in a sec right and everyone I don't know how this is quite gonna work but I am gonna go through some of the covenants now that I like yeah pretty cool but New Home Covenant. So, I'm not going to go through. Is it just like no, bullet points? Okay. That one there. Oh, they purchases cannot in the first five years. That's what I'll go through first. I think. I think. Uh -huh, and then there's the one that you can't do at any time. Yeah. Or until oh, like... so. Yeah, I'm maybe just go through all three <clears throat> on different days. Or oh, at any time is like a freaking essay. So, yeah, we'll go through that. So, I'm going to go through the in the first five years. Um, because yeah, I think that's probably the best one to go through. Oh, I wish I had the camera on Katie there, she's just doing some weird little dance. Um, so yeah, in the first five years of ownership, purchasers cannot demolish or substantially alter any outbuildings on their properties. So what, like we couldn't knock through the garage wall in the first five years? Technically, mm. but I don't so, think we'll do. You're not meant to do that in five years. But just the size, shape, or surface of any private or shared drive. I think it's more the shape, yeah. so making it not look like a Kilkenny. Oh, all right. So I think it's more externally. Internally, they mm. wouldn't be able to see that. So, with that second one there, we've obviously talked about wanting to pave the drive, like the, where the grass and stuff is, so you wouldn't be allowed to do that within the first five years of ownership. Um, convert any garage into living accommodation or extend any garage. So yeah, we couldn't do that in five years. Not, not supposed to, but people have done it, Katie says. But you're not meant to, you naughty little devils. Alter the position of their fence unless Gleason has given written consent to. Hmm. So like, that'll be like, like... Bringing it forward or... Like, knocking hours down and then taking it over to the next door's bit. Like, who's gonna do that? that? And as well, who's who's whose neighbour's gonna just be like, oh, they've That's done fine, that, yeah, but yeah. let's not say anything. Probably so. <laughs> nah, I would, I'd be no. fuming. But um, change their front garden into a hard surfaced area such as part of your drive. So yeah, like I said, that's something that we had wanted to do, but obviously we can't in the next within the next five years, well, until four, yeah, four years nearly after this year. Replace the external windows and doors of their property. If doing so, would change the appearance of their property. For example, replacing the external windows or doors with a different color or palette. Now, this one here, I definitely like would put an asterisk next to because if you we- If look at the purchaser's can. Yeah, if you look at the purchaser's can, it says, um, which- you see? At any time. Yep, it is. One second, so I can read it. Okay. Um, replace the external windows and doors of their property with windows and doors of the same style, size, and colour palette. So as long as it's the same colour palette, same size, yeah, you can. Which it will be. You can. But, but then it says as that you well, can't. yeah, so that's a bit confusing. But as well, we drove past Homeside Grange, which hasn't been a, like a plot for five years at all, no. and someone has like a bright yellow door. So we'll have different colours. Doors, yeah. They'll have changed them. Has that went off? No. Oh, it knocked off. No, I, I don't know. I, it must have just knocked off. But yeah, so people um, people do do it. And like I say, with our door, it's like we are definitely going to change it because there's just no way is there that we can... Well, we've already said... Yeah. Um, business, like businesses in. We can get one at a reasonable price. Yeah. That will fit. And my, my, we can put a proper frame in that's the right type of frame and my dad can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well. Might as well. 
But it's not even that, because like even if your dad didn't like, because no, some people some people won't have parents no, that can. But, but it's like I the, I mean, it's out, the condition of our door is just ridiculous. So it's like waiting. I would change it regardless because it's like the condition of the door is just terrible. Um, put up a sign or notice on the outside of their property or in any windows other than a name or number sign which must be under 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters in size i think a lot of people know that you're not allowed to really it's weird that that's within the first five years we were told that you're just not meant to sell the house while they're still building on the site or you're just not allowed to um allow the property to be occupied by anyone other than the buyer and their immediate family such as renting the home to another person um the last two there i think are pretty like you you get told quite thoroughly that like one you have to be the person living in the house and that you're not allowed to sell i don't like i say i'm sure you're not allowed to sell for until they're off site isn't it or something like that it's the signs as well you just can't have a big sign. Like when you have the for sale sign yeah. stuff, you can't do that. So that was indeed the some of the covenants that we've gone through there. Um but yeah, pretty pretty cool. Like I say, we've got the purchases can and purchases must at all times to go through. Might go through them two at once, and then the purchases cannot at any time to go through. So quite a lot to go through still, like I say. I've scuffled on there for like six minutes, um, but it has got on now. It is something to nine, I'd imagine, is it, Katie? Quarter. Oh. Yeah, quarter nine now. Um, I want to quickly get the dishes done, get to bed, get this video edited, and all that good stuff, and get to bed tonight. Get back onto into the routine of sort of editing the videos the night before. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions at all, get them down in the comments below. I have got a few comments to go through as well tomorrow. I will do that tomorrow. Or just if I feel like there's an accumulation of them building up, but if not, I more than likely will go through them more along with some more covenant talk. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Remember to like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you as always tomorrow.